Hi, welcome back to the Gem Hawks YouTube channel. I hope you're having a lovely day and that things are going all your way. Now, following on from last week's swirling heart pendant and decor design, I want to share with you today a design I've been making for around about five years and I've been asked many times to create for you on this channel. So here we go. This is Broken Heart Mended. A variation of a design, as I say, I started making about five or six years ago. I hope you enjoy the process. It's not a completely beginner's process, but it will be accessible to everyone who's just even dabbled ever so slightly in wire work. So I'm going to be working with one millimetre or 18 gauge wire plus six, uh, sorry, 0 0.6 millimetre, which is approximately 22 gauge wire, and also some 0 0.4 millimetre, 26 gauge wire. And I'm going to be demonstrating today in a couple of different colours, just so that it's easier to see all the different things that are going on. So if you'd like to join me down at the board, I'll show you a little bit closer the piece that we're looking to make today. So we've got two heart sections which have been joined together and turned into a pendant in this instance, but you could make that into wall art or decor if you prefer. Now I am working with four millimetre bicones. These are Swarovski crystal bicones and also four millimetre round Swarovski pearls. You could work with whichever beads that you wanted to, bearing in mind that you'll be putting a little bit of tension against them. So don't work with very soft gemstones such as turquoise, as they might not survive the process. So I've got two lengths of around about 12 inches of the heavier gauge wire. This is one millimetre or 18 gauge wire. I've got one in gold colour and one in silver colour. And I'm just going to start by giving those a little bit of a warm through just to put some flexibility in them. Now this is actually from my scrap pot. This gold is slightly heavier gauge wire. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's probably 1.25 or 16 gauge. It doesn't really matter. The minimum you really want to work with is one millimetre gauge. So what we're looking to do is to create our first half of a heart but we're going to do that at the same time which gives us a much better position in being able to make them symmetrically so around about halfway along both of those strands of wire I'm going to grip them very firmly side by side I'm going to use my bent chain nose pliers and I'm going to put really quite a definite angle on them yeah that's definitely 1.25 millimeter gauge in the gold that's quite hard to form so what i'm going to do is just give that a bit of an extra squeeze and then open it back out i'm going to straighten up one of these sides and then put those two forms back together what we're looking to do here is to create sides which are approximately symmetrical it just adds to the aesthetic appeal of the piece overall so you need to make sure that those two pointed sections are as close together as they possibly can be before starting to form that heart shape. And all I'm doing here is using the heat and shape of my thumb just to bring that into a circular form to create the two lobes of that heart shape. So they're going to start folding around. Uh, working with two different gauges of wire is a little bit challenging, but uh, it's possible. Uh, it's just, as I say, what I had to hand. So I'm just going to move those around. Now, if you wanted to, you could absolutely form those onto a, a ring mandrel or something of a round form if you wish to. It's not really important as long as you try to get them as similar in their form as possible. So once we've got that lobe or the, the pointed bit at the top of the heart sorted, what we're going to do is take this tail that we've got coming over the top, grip that very firmly indeed and pull that back upright and I'll move my hands out of the way and show you those individually. I'm just going to pop those out of the way for a second and what you need to do is get quite a sharp point on these. Now because we've formed our heart shape we can now work these individually so I'm just going to try and get a much sharper bend here. One of the ways that you can do that is to very very gently squeeze that section together and then reopen it back up. So I've got half a heart just here. To make my life easier, I'm just going to very gently take that top tail out of the way. And then I'm going to start working on the second half of my heart. And what we're going to do is just make sure that that bends round and conforms. I'm going to try and get that a little bit tighter 
before giving that a squeeze. So if you are working with a heavier wire, it's just a little more challenging. So I'm going to do the exact same on this side. So we've got two very similar forms at this stage. The next thing we're going to do is to take one of them and decide which side you want where. Now, if you're working with two similar pieces of wire, it doesn't really matter. I've decided that the right hand side is going to be the gold side. So what I'm going to do is come up about somewhere between a quarter and a third of the way between this point and the base point here. So I'm going to grip very firmly with my bent chain nose pliers and put a very firm bend all the way over one side. And then I'm going to draw that back up at a slightly more sedate angle. I'm just going to pop that down for a second. Now, one of the ways you can do this next section is to grip with your pliers on the desk so you know where that next bend. This is not symmetrically now. It's going to come in the same direction as you look at it. So we've got those two pieces. We're going to now take the silver side, the left hand side, back on itself. So we'll be able to work on these angles just a little bit in a moment. I'm going to take that up slightly. Move that out of the way. And I'm going to come over probably about six or seven millimetres before putting a bend, a sharp bend, all the way back in the opposite direction. Now this should be around about 45 degrees to the level plane. But you will need to just manually adjust those as you go. So there's my first section completed. As I say, this is not perhaps for total, total beginners to wire work, but if you've had even a little experience, you will be able to get your hands on this and it will come out just beautifully. It's another one of those pieces that you can make completely your own, very, very easy to personalise. So we're going to work now with the right hand side. And the way I found to do this best is to pick both of these items up very close to the end of my bent chain nose pliers, can you see that I've gone all the way over to the right so that when I form this angle coming back like so, give that a very, very sharp bend, as sharp as you can in the gauge of wire that you're working with, and then offer them up. You may need to slightly modify those. That's actually a little bit too far to the right, I think. So what I might do is just gently coerce that to be slightly further back put them together again and then the next one we'll need to do is to take the right hand side back towards the central line. So I'm going to grip hold of that where I think the line will need to turn, holding on to like so and then pushing it back over in the opposite direction. So we're making a zigzag but we're doing it little by little so that we can chase that design up the centre. I'm actually quite pleased with that. So again, with the bent chain nose pliers, just slightly to the left of the first bend, push the wire back in the same direction as you started and pop those two together. It's almost like a lightning strike here. Now our angles have gone slightly askew, so I'm just going to adjust that now to bring those into true with each other. And then we're going to bring the first side, the left-hand side in this instance, and what I want to do is to continue the line we began at the bottom. So I'm in my head, I'm drawing an imaginary line from the peak at the bottom here, the point rather, to the position at the top. So what you can do is use a straight line on your board if you have one. And I'm just going to give that a straight edge to return it along its way. Push that back into position. And then we will need to copy that on the far side. So I'm going to use the left side as a template pop my pliers into position and then lift away from the board, sneak that over just slightly and then draw that back up into position. So I could work on that a little bit more to get a sharper point or make your life easier and use a slightly lighter wire. So I'm going to put these two halves together and have a look. I'm reasonably, reasonably pleased with how that has turned out. So the next thing that you would need to do is add on some beads, if you like, 
to either side of the heart. Now, I quite like the idea of there being two quite different natures to the beads that you're using, but this is completely customizable, so you do what you think is best. So I've gone for a beautiful man-made pearls and also some gorgeous Swarovski crystals in, I don't know what they described this as, I think it was black ice possibly. I don't remember, I've taken them out of the bag. Anyway, to wind these on, I'm going to use some 0.6 or 22 gauge wire. And I have just a little from my scrap pot here. So the only thing you really need to be aware of at this stage, if I just bring my two pots of beads into position slightly, is if I'm going to start with my cut end of wire over the top on the left side, I will need to do the exact same thing on the right side. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to add on the bicones. So over the top, and then I'm going to take that tail around so that it wraps visibly three times so that I know I can repeat that. So I'm just going to flip that over so I can get the curl going all the way around like so. Give that a bit of a squeeze and then bring that all the way down to the base. So now I'm just going to straighten the wire away and I'm going to grab one of those Swarovskis and I'm just going to show you this one time. It's much easier with the pearl side. Bring the Swarovski bicone into position, pop those out of the way so they don't get knocked and allow the flat side of that bicone to sit against the outside of the wire frame we're working. Support very, very carefully, draw the wire diagonally back so that it passes underneath the framework you are working with and draw that firmly around three times. So that's once, twice and three times. And you just need to do that on both sides until they're both completely filled at whatever kind of ratio you want to see gems or beads or whatever it is that you're working with. I'm going to put these out of the way now and show you how to join the two halves together. So by this stage, you should have got your two halves of a broken heart. And what we want to do now is mend them. So I have got my two prepared halves, as I've just shown you a second ago, one side with faux pearls and one side with bicone crystals. I'm now going to work in a different coloured wire and just bring those two halves together. So we've got our two halves to work with. And I have a section of, in this instance, antique bronze colour, 0.4 millimetre or 26 gauge wire. Now the end's a bit rough, so I'm just going to discard that in the scrap pot. And I'm going to start off by winding around one of those central sections three times. You don't have to do it three times, but if you do do it three times, then it pays to just remember that and use that rule of three every single time you weave on this design because it allows a beautiful symmetry and it also shows real lovely attention to detail. So I've got my little coil to begin with. I'm just going to make sure that that rough end is tucked away neatly. Make sure that that's hidden behind. So I've wound on to the right hand side of my broken heart. Wire's coming over the top so I'm going to take that underneath like so. I just hold this for a second if it allows me to the wire has come over the top of the right hand side so it's come underneath the left hand side now you can draw these quite close together or you can have them a little bit wider if you prefer just moving my spool of wire out of the way now to get started you might like to just be slightly up from the base of the heart draw the wire down the center and you just have to waggle it so that it sits between and then we're going to wrap three times around each side. So that's one and two and up like so. If it helps you to pull it through, pull it through that way. And then we've got to go down the centre again through the waggles and then tidy that up. Now this is the bit where it's slightly more challenging. But if I just show you that's even started uh, to form together already. So it's just a case of winding back and forth in a figure of eight design three times on each side or whatever your chosen number is. Slow down when you get to the bends, make sure that you're in you're totally happy with how that all sits and then you can make yourself really quite a fancy bale at the top because you've got four wires to play with. If you don't want to make a fancy bale you can very very simply take the two inner ones 
wrap them at the nexus here and then use the two outer ones to create a simple veil sorry or you can make something a little bit more fanciful if you prefer i think it would look nice if we had some danglies coming off at the bottom there so i might add those later i hope you've enjoyed the broken heart mended tutorial it's been a good long time in being prepared and put together and released so i hope you like it and i look forward to seeing you again very very soon take care and bye for now